The number one trap many fitness professionals fall into when trying to deliver even better results. Hey, I'm Sarah from Most Motion, and I'm here with another video for every sports and fitness coach who is trying to find extra ways, different ways of improving the client's results and just improving performance all around. So what is that first trap? What is the biggest trap? Well, it's separation. What do I mean by that? I mean, finding all the individual elements that you're trying to um, use to improve performance and making them separate issues. So Dave Brailsford he used to work for British Cycling and he popularized the idea of marginal gains. And that meant that you're trying to find 1% improvement in a lot of different areas of performance. And then when they add them all together, it results in a bigger performance improvement. And that's great. But when you're adding lots of extra elements to somebody's training plan, then it can actually have the opposite effect. So let's use the example of uh, Martha, okay? So Martha's in her late 40s. She's got uh, young children. She's busy um, working as well. Her job is very stressful. And she uses running as a way of relieving that stress and having some me time. So she's come to you as, your, as a coach because she wants to uh, push herself, challenge herself to run a 10K race, for example, okay? And you know that in order for her to achieve her best performance in that race, that she needs to improve her sleep, she needs to recover well from exercise, she needs to improve her movement, she needs to um, have strength training as well. And you can see all of that, but when you recommend all of those things individually, all she sees is it's more work and that feels like more stress. And of course, that means that her whole goal of running and having some me time to reduce that stress is totally gone because now the running is more stressful than it was and she just feels pressure every time she goes out for a run or has to do all these extra things. And of course, stress is the leading cause and the leading risk factor for injury. So you can guarantee that if she feels more pressure when she's running, then she's likely to get injured as well, which will stop her doing the race in the first place. So what can you do? Well, you can focus on the one thing that improves everything else. So all other areas of performance, like sleep, like recovery from exercise, like strength training, and that is improving movement. And you don't even need to stop training to do that. And I uh, have so many different ways that you can do this. I literally wrote the book on it. It's called The Coach's Guide to Long-Term Injury Prevention Success because movement improvement reduces the amount of physical stress in somebody's body and therefore reduces the risk of injury. So if you want to grab that book, you should have a copy already. If you don't, go and grab it at mostmotion.com forward slash book. Dive right in. I'll show you all the different ways, all the strategies you can use to include all of this stuff into your training program and into your training session. So you don't have to add extra load, extra work, extra pressure to your clients to improve their performance. You can do it all in the session while you're coaching them. So head on over to mostmotion.com forward slash book, grab your copy and thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next video.